Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone who is watching my video. I would like to express my gratitude to my first panel, Dr. Huda bin A. Majid, my second panel, Encik Muhammad Hakimi bin Zohari, and lastly to my supervisor, Ms. Sumaya binti Mashori. My name is Ama Aizat and in this video, I will demonstrate my final year project 2 which is titled Agricultural Pesticide Spring Robot System. So overall, the aims of this research are to show how robotics may be used in agricultural applications and to create an intelligent spraying robot system that will effectively reduce pesticide consumption, protect farmers' health and reduce labour intensity. The robot will be developed including control system, movement, spraying and sensor integration. The system, the spraying system will be enhanced by establishing the best coverage time, preventing repetitive spraying and adjusting automatic detection based on the target. This idea proposes a pesticide spraying method to help farmers in agriculture. In general, chili is a fruit type vegetable and it is popular in Malaysia. About 15,000 hectares of chili has grown in Malaysia annually in major producing states such as Johor, Pera and Kelantan. Study shows that Malaysia took 33,000 ton per year of fresh chili annually whereby the local production is around 23,000 ton per year. According to National Encyclopedia, agriculture continues to be a significant sector in Malaysia, contributing 12% to national GDP and employing 16% of the population. As a result, chili demand had soared in market value. To satisfy this country's population food demands, farmers must use a large number of pesticides to increase food production. However, spraying pesticide is a hazardous procedure for farmers and several precautions should be considered such as wearing appropriate clothing, gloves and masks. Spraying pesticide manually results in effective and uneven coating of pesticide requiring more significant quantities of pesticide. Thus, the robots are very imminent technical solution for achieving the best solutions in such situations to increase productivity and reliability. So here is the five main objectives that will be achieved by the end of this project. The first is to develop a highly efficient robot attached with ultrasonic sensor that is to be used in a chili plantation. Then, to program an automatic system using ultrasonic sensor and program remote manual system using Blink application to act as an input and the APSR system to act as an output in a chili plantation. Next, develop the four-wheel car based mechanism and control through Arduino Mega. Finally, to evaluate its effectiveness in pesticide usage by the system. Next is the literature review. Modern farms work far differently than those from a few decades ago, mainly because of advancements in technology, including sensors, actuators, devices, machines and information technology. To proceed with the development of the project based on the research study, it is necessary to list the unique and essential criteria from the related research. So here, for the controller, each case study uses different types of controllers for particular tasks. The most used controller is an Arduino and it is the best choice for this project. For the navigation system, the list of the previous study used manual type for controlling the system. It is because technology is evolving and developers are utilizing the use of technology. For that, they control their system by using it remotely or automatically. For this project, it will be operated in two conditions which are automatic and remote manual mode. Based on the research study, four wheel drive will be applied in this project for better movement and solid structures. This flowchart shows the sequence operation process for the APSR system. As we can see, when the robot is turned on, the system is initialized for the first time and the robot is basically in a remote manual mode. For the remote manual mode, robot movement and spring process are controlled using 
a blink application in a mobile phone which is the robot will act according to which button is pressed if the robot is in automatic mode the robot will automatically move forward then the two ultrasonic sensor will be ready to detect plants along the way if one or both of the sensor sense plant the spraying operation will continue to spray according to the condition that has been programmed in the system three situations are used in automatic mode for spraying operation number one spray on the post side number two spray on the left side only and number three spray on the right side only when the spraying operation has been done the robot continues moving forward and continues to look for the next plan so here is the overall design the dimensions are 24 cm because the row size for the chili farm is approximately 100 cm the height is determined to be 65 cm and it is suitable for chili plants the water pump is placed in front of the robot while the pesticide tank is located behind the robot this APSR system can transport up to 1.5 liter of liquid pesticide although the tank is heavy it can still support all of it, its component including a battery uh, an electronic component a water pump and solenoid valve the ultrasonic sensor is placed left and right side at a specific angle to detect plants while the robot moves so to obtain the result four chili plants were used to simulate the concept of a chili farm the test was carried out in two modes automatic and remote manual so here are the video showing how the robot works when in automatic mode and in remote manual mode
Based on the test conducted, it shown that the optimal duration of spray was 3 seconds. It is because it had enough time to coat all leaves from the upper side to the lower side of the chili plant with enough pesticide to avoid excessive supply. Next, the test in remote manual mode show that the blink application button works well with the APSR system. The robot acts according to which button is pressed. Based on the results, the automatic and the remote manual mode for the APSR system is successfully operated. The APSR system can operate according to spraying criteria in a chili farm. The automatic and remote manual modes are extremely versatile. Both approaches are effective for treating and preventing diseases on chili plants. So in conclusion, the APSR system achieved its objective by developing highly effective agricultural robot for spraying pesticides on agricultural farms. It is a powerful and efficient robot that can travel autonomously without human involvement and can also be easily navigated and controlled in remote manual mode. Tests show that it can operate as needed in a real world situation. This robot helps farmers spray pesticide from safe distance without direct contact with it. So that's all for me. Thank you very much for spending time in my presentation. Assalamualaikum.